Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Dory and I'm so glad that you're here. I've lost a total of 80 pounds and I have kept it off for a long time. I follow Bright Line Eating, which is a no flour, no sugar eating style. When you're watching my videos about food, fitness, and freedom, where it pertains to food, we're gonna be having no flour, no sugar foods. I've maintained my weight loss for a very long time for the first time ever in my life. I'm excited to be here with you today. A couple of things. As you're watching food recipes, you're gonna see something go off on the screen that's a trigger warning. That means I'm letting you know if there's a food in this recipe that's going to light up your brain and I'll give you some suggestions for that and to substitute. Next, as you're watching the video, there's gonna be timestamps in the description and at the bottom bar of the screen. That way you can bypass and fast forward to whatever section of the video that works for you. If you like this video and you wanna continue on with this journey, food, fitness, and freedom with me, be sure to subscribe and hit a thumbs up for a like on each of the videos you watch. Thank you so much. Hey guys, what's up? It is time now to prepare lunch. So what am I making today? I am going to be using garbanzo bean pasta to make a creamy fall pasta dish. Now, before we get started here, I want to give you uh, this background in a sense. Through my Brightline eating journey, I actually waited probably about a year before I even considered the idea that I would have legume oriented pasta. I don't know, it just wasn't something that was part of my taste buds anymore. My automaticity had developed, my food neutrality was very present, and I was like, pasta, meh, meh, I really didn't want it. I don't crave it. So, but what happened, let me tell you what happened. I had people coming over every single month, guests, out of towners, visitors, all of this business, and I was like, okay, I gotta be cooking for everybody and me. So I decided to start using this garbanzo bean pasta. So what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna make a nice fall inspired dish utilizing the beautiful benefits and beauty of squash, which is also very new to me. I didn't grow up eating things like squash. So when I look at squash, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, because they're huge and they're so hard to cut, but no worries. We're gonna make this dish and it's gonna be super fast. I promise you that, I promise you that. In case you don't know it or haven't realized it yet, I'm a New Yorker, I like things quick. So that is the scoop with that. I do wanna give you a trigger warning. This particular dish is going to have cheese. We have Parmesan cheese and cheese is known to have addictive qualities. So whatever point you are in your program, especially with Brightline Eating, as long as you have peace around what you're doing, that's really what matters. Always honor yourself and your choices and what feels right to you. I think that's it. So let's get cooking. We're gonna make this super fast. The ingredients, the process, all of it is going to be in the description below. Let's get started by boiling the pasta. Taking the entire box of the pasta, go ahead and boil it. You add salt to the water and let it cook. While that's happening, you're going to go ahead and head over to prepare your squash. I usually buy pre-cut or noodle squash to make it easier on myself. I'm using my Ninja Foodi. Next, I'll get some garlic. Fresh garlic goes right into the Ninja Foodi alongside the squash. I will let that cook on the bake and roast function at 375 for 15 minutes. While that's happening, I will head over to my pasta, grab my six ounces, and now we're ready to build our cream sauce. Taking the squash and garlic, I'll put it inside my Vitamix along with nutritional yeast. Then my seasoning of choice, which is French Herb de Provence. Now, remember to grab your water because you'll need this to get this mixture going. Add as much water as you need to get it creamy and smooth and also you can put your Vitamix on high. I forgot to add salt, so let's go ahead and get some black truffle salt and get that in there. We are ready to build this dish. Mix your squash creamy, creamy sauce with the pasta. Add half of the Parmesan cheese, folding it in as well, saving the other half as a topping. Once that's done, grab your baking dish and place your pasta mixture inside the baking dish, topping it with your Parmesan cheese. Now my oven is already warm from my previous dishes of the day, so I will just cover this with aluminum and stick it in the oven for a little bit to get it to get 
bubbly and cheese all melted. And that is it. I topped it with a sprinkle of oregano oil and a quick squirt of truffle oil. And that is how you can make this creamy, creamy pasta. Mmm, guys, it is lunchtime and yes, I just licked my finger. So it's lunchtime, my creamy shells are done. We have all of our flavors that you saw put together. We have them all in there. How did I finish this off? I put a little sprinkle of oregano. I put one quick squirt of truffle, which you know, if you do bright line eating, we can use our sprays, just be very careful. Let's give it a taste because it is lunchtime and I'm ready to taste it. So let's try it together. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Creamy, robust, flavorful, savory. Mmm, you're gonna love this. And of course, adapt it to suit your needs. Enjoy this, guys, so, so good. If you do uh, do this recipe, find me on Instagram. You'll see my link in the description below and tag me. I wanna see what you create. Oh my God, well, it's lunchtime, so bye.